Right, so let's go find Larry, shall we? Let's go back into the town and talk. Has anyone seen Larry? Uh, who are you talking about? Or Mason? No, who's Mason? Oh good, I guess not everyone who knows Larry in this town. Has anyone seen the lone owner of Larry's shop? It's locked. Why don't you just go back when it's open again? This person is no help. I won't get any help from these people after all. Alright, can we search Larry's store? The antique store is... After... No, that one! Shop is locked. Is there anything else we can, like, click on? No? Anything happens? No? Nothing? Okay. Pause. I don't think playing will do anything. Or it might... No, okay. We have to just go find him in that case. Let's go into Larry's shop. We can't go there. I feel that eventually, what we're going to have to do is go see Risa, and she'll be in the forest. That's what I think, anyway. Grandpa is not around, I guess he's not asleep after all. I wonder where he went off to. Didn't even tell me. Bastard. All right, I'm just going to guest room. Is there anything here? Talk. Can we play? No. All right, so we definitely have to find him. There's, uh... No, fuck off. There's no, uh, getting around that. So we have no other way to go other than the bridge. All right, apparently we can't. Was there something else I had to do which I've forgotten already? Oh, God. All right, we'll get... Is there something we learned off Shakira? Shakira, I'd like to speak to you. Uh, is what Larry said true? Did you lure away men under the full moon? I told you before I did not, but what really happened? Why do only people only disappear when you move in the forest? I do not know. Why do you believe a melted human and not me? You're willing to sing around so many people you don't care about them at all. Larry saved them from me. I can't help but think that maybe you did lure them. What do you want me to say? I didn't do anything to people of town. Why are you blaming me for it? She is such a dick. Men disappear whenever there's a full moon. So this has nothing to do with me. People disappear all the time. Not in a small little town. Then why does the town believe it's you? It's easier to put the blame on others, especially someone you can't explain. You did say I seemed mystical when you met me. You lured me. And did you disappear? The answer is no. Ah. I think I need to bring another subject before Shakira will tell me anything. That is, if she knows anything. Alright, so this is what we have to do. We don't have to quite go there yet. Mason. Larry said you met Mason before. Can you tell me about him? She doesn't know who he is. Don't be silly. You are Mason. What? Why do you think that? You appeared before me again. How can you not be him? Right, so he must have looked similar. I understand if something happened to your memory of me, but you are the same person. Do you know how much it tore me apart knowing you forgot all about me? I'm not who you think I am. Completely forgetting about you is a little extreme, don't you think? Are you telling me it's only coincidence that you look like him and that you have the same violin too? Things change over time, so how can you not be him? I know humans are stupid and they forget things, but you did at last come back to me. Wow, she thinks humans are that stupid when a goldfish? She's such a dick. I have no sympathy for her whatsoever. Mason is my grandfather. He gave me that violin. No, you are Mason. You came back to help me find my songs and instruments so I can go home. You promised me. I, I'm i sorry. Well, my name is Grey. You were calling me that for a while too. But humans are stupid and they change over time. I thought you just... You aren't that stupid. Why didn't you tell me about Mason sooner? I was. Oh god, oh for fuck's sake, we just skipped something. And I can't go back. Up, down, left, right, nothing. It all just changes here. That's a shame. Oh well, some will fucking know. Even if I wanted to be sure. So, she was investigating. That's how I imagine what she would have said. If you met Mason before, then it must have been a very long time ago. A very fucking long time ago. I believed you came... I believed you came back so much. I wait under full moon like you told me to, and when I couldn't take it anymore, I sang to get you come to come back. And you finally did come back. But when you didn't recognise me, I knew something was wrong. You just looked like him, you had his violin, how could you not be him? And humans are the stupid ones! Alright, Shakira. Alright. Maybe you were too deep in song. Maybe th that is why you do not remember me. I was glad I found you again. She was com she has convinced herself that I am my grandfather. Her nerves must have gotten to her. So maybe it was just easier for her to believe that I was. I'm great. I'm not Mason. 
Then where is Mason? You say that he's your grandfather? He left me and started a family? How dare he? Hey, I'm sure he had good reason for not coming back to you. Like, thinking you're an absolute fucking crazy bastard. He made me a promise. I continued singing and playing my pipe to make him come back. If he was only close by, he would have come to me. If I had known you weren't Mason that night I saw you, I wouldn't have kept you. What? So, I would have disappeared if I hadn't looked like my grandfather? I don't want to ask her that right now while she's in a bad mood, but... She disregards the well-being of others, so right then, sir. how can I expect... Oh, God. Wonderful, another video just came up in the background. But she disregards the well-being of others, so what can I expect her to do now that she knows that I'm not my grandfather? Uh, to say that I definitely don't trust her is probably an understatement. I think I know what really happened to those men who disappeared. That's a weird option one we should go with. You said you continued singing and playing your pipe to get Mason back to you. And I know you can't recognise people from across the bridge so easily. You lured several people from the town just to find him. I don't believe you did it just once. You really think it's me, that I am the Piper Girl who lures men away from town. I want to know what you're hiding. Okay, Gray. You did? Why? Why did you lie? If I told you the truth, you would not help me. Who would help me if they knew I lured their kind away? No, she really did lure them to their deaths. We agreed to meet each other under full moon and Mason said that he would come with promised instruments. I waited and waited for him. When he did not come back, I decided to use my song of lure. I had no more patience. If he would not come, I would lure him. I would show him I had not vanished. There were a few times I gave a task of finding instruments to other men who had the same musical ability you have, but they could not deliver. They fell to the power of music. I felt myself losing my mind when I made a mistake playing the siren's song on a siren's instrument. Is that what you mean? Yes, that is one way someone could lose their mind. Those men from town disappeared forever because they fell permanently to Siren's music. The music I planned to use on Mason was very powerful. I knew that if he could wake up from my lore, I would have known it was him. Oh my god. Alright, how do we get to Larry? <laughs> and how do we tell him that everything's been a mistake and that I'm really sorry? Oh dear. You were able to wake up from my lore, so I really thought you were him. And what happened to the people who didn't wake up? When they fell under my song, they went into river. What caused them to do that? Doesn't the song make them desire you? Yes, and to stop them from coming at me, I retreated into ocean. They followed and drowned. Oh my god. She's absolutely bonkers. What kind of fucking crazy... <sighs> Alright. Ocean is good to me, it's water washes them away so I don't have to see them anymore. What's wrong, you don't like my story? I did it all for my instruments and for Mason's return. It's just... I can't believe it. Now that you know, you are not going to help me anymore. This... I see. This is why I did not want you to know. To stop this from happening again, I must get you home. You can't mean that, you still want to help me? Why would you do that, Grey? Just get the nearest harpoon and aim it at her. Why would you do this? <laughs> oh, this is going so badly. I can't let the story of the Piper Girl continue to haunt this town and you need to get home. I can't find the right words to say about the people who disappeared. I was hoping you didn't do it. But right now I just don't want it to continue. I will get you out of here. I see. I still need your help and by helping me you will be able to be get rid of me. I will come with you after I have recovered. Come back when you are ready as well. I can't believe this, I need to speak to my grandfather. SPEAK?! You need to bollock the motherfucker! You need to absolutely murder him! <sighs> Alright, I'm going to go to grandpa's house. The cabinet's closed, grandpa must be back. So, uh, ha, you know all those things I said I didn't do? Ha, kinda did them. Uh, learned some interesting stuff. You've probably forgotten about them, however. Gramps, where are you? What is he, dear little snob? You're back. I was wondering where you went. You think I can't go anywhere just because I'm in a wheelchair? Is that it? I can go anywhere I wish. What do you think gets the groceries around here? That's not what I meant, Gramps. That's what everyone thinks. I just want to ask you a few questions. Where were you on the date of April the 16th, 1971? 
Uh, seems a little bit too young. Ask away, you little snob. Well, Larry mentioned it to you when he took something from it. What are you talking about? He said that you know about sirens and that you met the Piper Girl before. What? Why would Larry say that? Listen, Grabs, this is very important, so don't please hold back what you know. I met you, came already. I think the music's about to stop and he's about to kill me. There's the music stopping. I called that. Shit's about to get serious. You met Shakira? And so have you. Great, what is going on? How did you meet her? How did you find out about her? Well, because I'm a twat, basically. Shakira is a siren who is looking for her instruments to go home. No, it can't be. You were the one creating the disasters with the siren songs. You could say that. How did my own grandson get into this mess? You did not listen to me when I warned you not to go out during the full moon? You lied to me! I'm sorry, but what's important right now is that Larry took the instruments I found. He did? That can't happen! But it did. It just happened today. He told me you met the Piper God before, that's how I know. Before I continue helping Shakira, I need you to tell me what you know about her. There are a lot of things that are bothering me. Why does she wear a skin-tight dress? Why did you fall for her, considering she's a complete and utter maniac? Other than that, uh, not much. <sighs> I can't believe you have learned so much in a short period of time. Very well, I will tell you. I met her 40 years ago. That's quite a long time. 40 years ago? That must make Shakira at least 40. What was I expecting? Shakira did say I look like my grandfather. So she's at least 60. Probably more, because she's been trapped. So probably 80. Damn, that's kind of witch. That's definitely witch stuff going on there. She hasn't aged a bit. These siren creatures do not grow old like us. I I'd like to keep talking to you. Uh, how you met Shakira? Yeah, let's do that then. We'll do the promise last. We need to get as much information as we can. Larry and I were curious about a ghost that appeared in the forest. We went to look for it ourselves. <sighs> 40 years ago. 40 years ago, he was a kid. So, alright, okay, no, that. I was just thinking about the births and how young he must have been, but no, it makes sense. Mason, where are you going? Are you really set on doing this? That's not only him, but that's exactly the same character model, isn't it? <laughs> just not with a red fringe and different clothing. Oh dear, why not? Are you chicken, Larry? What the fuck is that? We are actually brothers. Huh. No, you're the one that's chicken. Come on, let's find the ghost. Wait, let's recap before we go any further. So there are stories of this girl singing in the woods. Folks in town are saying it's because the forest is haunted. Do you really want to check out something like that? Well, heck, I'm bored, you chicken. <laughs> Shut up. Someone said he saw her and that she's hot. I wonder where she's from. A couple people say she looks like a ghost, but do you really think that's what she is? No. It's bullshit. S superstitions between the commoners of the village. Man. Who knows? All I know is that we've got the diary. So we've got the upper hand now. She must... She must be just like the one in the diary. So the story lines up perfectly. There's a girl with abnormal coloured hair. Green hair dye, lads. She sings and weird things happen uh, when you hear her music. And the girl in the diary came to the author and gave him the gift with a song. The guy ended up rich. That's not what I meant by a recap. How could your nutty ancestor end up rich? Wouldn't you be loaded by now? Well, look. You appear to be in a potato sack mason, where he looks like he has a decent jacket and t-shirt, so I know who's laughing. Oh my god, that's not a coat? What kind of matrix shit is that? Why does it go out so much? Is he just really thin here and just gets really fat in the legs? Oh god. 